It's 8.23 back in our uh, fake TV kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have a real registered dietitian, Sue Ma, with us just Thank in time you. for the holidays. How are you doing, Sue? I'm great. How are you? Fantastic. You were mentioning, so you've got not just Christmas to deal with, you've got what, some bunch of birthdays and stuff coming up. My daughter's birthday, my brother's birthday, my husband's my husband's birthday, and then Christmas. So I'm very budget conscious this time. Yeah, because of course you're expensive catering and looking me. after a lot of this stuff. Exactly. So yeah, you want to stretch the food dollar, so you've got yeah. some fantastic tips here. I do. I've got some great tips okay. for the audience. So the first tip is to plan your meals. Think about what you're going to cook for the week right. okay try to use similar ingredients so that nothing goes to waste right when you plan your meals make a grocery list and then you shop for the best prices mm -hmm. and stores like Walmart super centers have great quality fresh produce mm -hmm. at affordable prices okay. so that's where I do my shopping right. on a regular basis and, and stretch it out in terms of leftovers for example totally use leftovers you know. exactly buy, um, buy you know buy the bigger size package packages if you can and then right. just cut it into little pieces to make your snacks right. so that sort of thing to save money. Yeah. Another tip I have is to store your food properly. Yeah. Because North Americans throw out about half of our food uneaten. And what a waste. And it's unnecessary. If it was stored properly, exactly. then we could have maxed that so out. So I brought in some samples of foods. Um, and, you know, let's tell the viewers and the audience how to store them properly. Yeah. Apples, if you store them on the kitchen counter, they'll ripen 10 times faster. Nobody likes a soft apple. No. Right? So and so them. many people do that. I, mean, I know. It looks nice. It's almost like, yeah, I was just going to say, like a display. Nice, but Presentations, everything. Totally. But. So keep them in a plastic bag. Poke a few holes in it. And this keeps the humidity in the bag. Right. And keeps the apples crisp and fresh. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, melons or even peppers slice it in half and if you're going to eat half fine if you're going to keep the other half maintain the seeds because the seeds actually maintain the moisture mm -hmm. if you scoop up the seeds ahead of time and keep it in the fridge then the melon or the pepper will dry out oh that's a so great keep tip. the seeds in the fruit or the okay vegetable. Lettuce. Mm -hmm. Love lettuce. So I bought uh, some romaine lettuce, washed it, dried it, and just wrap it up in a damp paper towel or a damp tea, tea towel, mm -hmm. and that'll keep it fresh for, oh, at least a few days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Potatoes. Where yeah. do you think we store potatoes? Crisper. No, no, never in the fridge. Never. That's going to change the potato to a sweet flavor. Nobody wants a sweet potato. Oh, right? yeah. So in a cool, dark place, and sometimes potatoes have that greenish tinge. Mm -hmm. That means that it's been stored improperly under lights. So you want to keep it oh, dark. Who does that? Yeah, well, who does? But if you've seen any green stuff on the potato, toss it out. Because that green stuff, that solanine, is actually a toxin. So store that potato properly. Garlic. Where do you think we put garlic? Um, where do you put your garlic? Garlic. Um, <laughs> the heck out of the crisper. <laughs> Out of the crisper, right? Yeah. Because if you leave it in the yeah. fridge, it'll start to grow yeah. sprouts. But back to the potatoes, yeah, actually, just a, but a cool place, like just uh, yeah, in the cellar, in the cellar, or cellar garage, somewhere, somewhere if in it's the clean, garage, yeah. right? In a paper bag, if right. you want, or in a dark, cool place. Right. Yeah. Uh, garlic, same thing. Dark, yeah. cool place. Mushrooms, always in a bag, paper mm -hmm. bag, never in a plastic bag. Okay. Mushrooms sweat. Ooh. Yeah, and in a plastic bag, it absorbs the sweat and they start to decay quickly. So always a paper bag for mushrooms. Well, these are fantastic tips. Yeah. By the way, we're gonna before we run out of time, we gotta make a leftover salad too. Okay, yeah, yeah. So let's just use some of the leftover fruit that we've got. I've got an apple that I paid thirty cents for. Okay, toss it into the salad. Done. No, no. <laughs> oh, sir. <laughs> you slice it up into oh. matchsticks. I, That's okay. I jumped the gun there, Ian. Okay. Right. I was watching the clock there. And the salad's about three dollars <laughs> from Walmart. Toss in the apples, uh, the apple matchsticks. There right? we go. Yep. And then you throw in some dried cranberries give it a toss and it's a perfect salad less than five dollars to bring to a potluck bingo, I've got bingo. a stir fry and I've got some veggies and some uh, snacks here that I've made for less than a dollar each okay boy that was just jam-packed with all kinds of great tips great and, and yeah the storing is huge because that really does stretch it out yeah. yeah totally yeah well listen have fun with all the parties Thank you have to you. look after Happy and, holidays. yes and uh, we'll see you again soon okay Suma, we'll see you again soon too we've got the news at 8 30 to kick off the last half hour of morning live